Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we are taking a look at a brand new watch from D1 Milano. I have reviewed a few of their watches in the past. I've always found their watches to be a very good quality, very well made, and all around pretty, you know, nice designs that people enjoy at pretty affordable prices. Today we're taking a look at the D1 Milano Delta Thunder 41.5. It's a newer model, a newer release from D1 Milano, and uh, we're going to take a look at it today. It's a very thin watch as well. Now their packaging is pretty much the same all around as it has been since the past. Comes in this cardboard box, then you get a little box here with a card with your warranty inside of this box as you can see here. And the watch comes in there on the pad, a little warranty in there, and D1 Milano branding. So uh, pretty simple packaging. Let's see what's on my wrist, and then we'll jump right into the watch. On my wrist today is the Tissot PRX, the quartz version. I've had this one whew, six months already. Yep, seven months. Seven months. Yep. And, uh, yeah, still going strong. Still working good, of course. It's Quartz Watch. It's, uh, I think one of their most popular models now. And the reason why I wanted to wear this watch is because the watch we're going to review, the Delta Thunder, is actually even thinner than this Quartz model, Tissot uh, PRX, uh, which is pretty cool. So let me bring this into the frame here, as you can see. And there is the new watch from D1 Milano. Now this is dubbed the Thunder. There are a few different color variations, of course. They retail at 325 US from their website, D1 Milano. I will drop a link in the description below. As you can see, it's a two-handed watch. There's no seconds hand. It's a quartz watch. And uh, it's very well made. It's very nice, the finishing, everything. It's a new style case design. So this is the Delta 001 Thunder um, series which basically they say revolutionizes the D1 Milano shape with a silver sandblasted dial and black details, a circular bezel engraved with minutes and a 316L stainless steel case. And uh, yeah, it's basically a new kind of style they're releasing, which is extremely thin. We get 41.5 millimeters across and eight millimeters thick. I got with my calipers, eight millimeters. That's extremely thin guys. Um, it wears really like a plate flat on the wrist, which is actually really nice. And it all conforms to the wrist very nicely with this genuine rubber band, which is actually really nice. Um, the watch itself is, in terms of lug-to-lug, -lug, if you really want to try for a lug-to-lug -lug here, considering it's an integrated band from here to here is 50 millimeters. I got with my calipers. Okay? Anyway, um, the, the watch is housed of solid 316L stainless steel, as you would expect. We get some polishing on these sides of that bezel, as you can see, then pretty much the rest is brushed, but very nicely brushed. Nice uh, pull and push crown here in a hexagon shape, about 6.5 millimeters the crown. As you can see, flipping to the other side, brushed here as well. Your polishing is on the side of that bezel, which they put nice numerals going around. Kind of reminds me of the Explorer 2 numerals, if uh, you know what I'm talking about. But it looks pretty cool. It's easy to tell the minutes it, when you look at it. If you look at two, then you can just look over here, you know, 32. So I think that helps with legibility as well. And, you know, you can read the watch at a glance quicker than actually reading the minute minute markings. This is, in, this is a gray dial, as you can see here. And there are sandblasted hands, uh, brass, silver, plated, sandblasted hands, they state, uh, which is actually pretty cool. So they put a lot of work, it seems, into the actual dial. As you can see, it's a little textured as well. The D1 Milano logo pokes out, and you get Delta 001 down here. You do get skeletonized hands as well, and also you do get this kind of black ring coming from here to here, if you can get a look at that, which is quite interesting. You get a date cut out at the 3 o'clock position. You get nice large crown guards. You get 50 meters of water resistance on this model. So I wouldn't exactly say it's something to take in the water. You know, if you happen to get it wet in the rain, you should be okay. It's a pull and push crown. Very good grip as well. Um, pretty easy time set. It is using a quartz um, Yoda movement inside of here. Uh, which are very accurate, you know, the batteries last for like two years, and I uh, shouldn't have any issues with the movement. And that's one reason why it's eight millimeters thin, as you can see here. And the way they did the case shape on the back, as you can see, with, held down by four screws, uh, D1 Milano engraved there. And you can see on the back of the rubber band as well, very nicely embossed D1 Milano. It's kind of like a camouflage design, which is pretty cool. That's one reason why it's very thin. As you can see, there's arcs in here on the case back, which is why they got to keep it, you know, under nine millimeters and eight millimeters, which is pretty cool. Which, so, which is one reason why I want to show you the Tissot. See, for example, on the Tissot, as you can see, that case back bulges out, adding at least 1.5 millimeters to the case thickness there. 
And they got around that by kind of angling the case back on the D1 Milano, uh, which is one reason why it's really thin. So I think that's pretty cool. Nice design, architecture, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, to actually set the timer on this watch, very easy. One position, we get a quick set date. Final position, we set the time here. Push it back down, all good to go. Good grab and go watch. I would say this watch can be used as a dress watch or on the go, everyday sports watch. You get a nice black rubber band here with um, nice flexibility, I would say. Straight out of the box, straight, very flexible, very smooth. D1 Milano embossed on the keeper here, two keepers. A custom D1 Milano brushed buckle, which is very nice size, very proportionate. And you'll see when it's on my wrist there. Uh, one thing, there's no loom on this actual watch, uh, which is probably one thing I'd like to see, maybe on an update, to put some loom on the indices, a little bit on the hands maybe, that would be pretty cool. Um, but anyway, it's a very well-made watch. The brushed finish is very nice. The numerals are etched very nicely around the uh, bezel here. I think it's an all-around, you know, different look. I haven't seen anything come out from D1 Milano that looks like this um, so far. So I think it's pretty cool. Anyway. I want to throw it on my actual wrist, show you what it looks like on my 6.75 inch wrist. And there she is outside on my 6.75 inch wrist. The band's really comfortable, I must say. It's a very nice, smooth, genuine rubber black band. And the case, as you can see, it sits perfectly flat on my wrist, very comfortable. Just really hugs the wrist with that integrated band, which I do really enjoy. Very comfortable. Nice weight to it, about 88 grams. In conclusion, I think it's a pretty cool watch. I like the quality of the case. Um, it's very nice, but down to the polish on the finishing, on the sides, the brushing. D1 Milano always has very highly, highly finished watches of good quality. You know, it's everything is so smooth and cut perfectly. It just, it's just really nice. Um, and of course, we do get a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating there, as you can see, for legibility. All around, very nice watch. No quality control issues. Uh, shipping was fast. Um, came DHL two days, very fast. Um, great band. I think all around it's a pretty decent release and they have a bunch of different colors of this model. So definitely check them out. And let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual. This is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews coming at you with the new D1 Milano Delta Thunder series watch. Uh, pretty cool watch, very interesting, very interesting stuff. Subscribe to the channel, throw me a like, leave me a comment guys, and I'll definitely see you on the next one. Bye.